Uh, I'm just going to show you how I hook it up. On the back of the inverter are two cooling fans on the bottom of the unit and a grounding lug. When you go to hook this up, you're going to take off the hardware from the stud. So you're going to take your cables and you're going to put your cables on here. And you want to make sure that that cable is on that connection nice and tight. And then if you're going to hook up two cables, then you're going to take the second cable and don't put them on together like that because they won't have a good clean connection. You want to twist the second one. That's going to be a better connection. Then you'll then you'll put your flat washer on first, then your lock washer, and finally you'll follow it up with your nut. Okay, all the wires are tight and they're not loose when I move them. First thing we'll do is take the negative battery cables and this is going to be my negative bus bar from my batteries. Check them and make sure they don't wiggle. They're nice and secure. Now for the positive. You could hook the positive directly up to the bus bar because there's fuses built into this. So here's the terminal block and I just removed these bottom screws. Now I'm going to take this uh, wire and I'm going to hardwire it to this outlet over here so that I can run some more powerful tools. The yellow is your ground, black is your neutral, and red is your hot. And then last step and put the plastic cover over that terminal block. Okay so now we have these outlets that are available for low power draw items and we've hooked up an outlet over here for high power draw items. I'm glad that this inverter has the ability to run the miter saw. This is 1800 watt. Uh, I do run my chargers off of it. Uh, sometimes I have a whole bank of chargers lined up and I have cooled this garage with a small window AC which draws a little over 400 watts. Thanks for watching.